and welcome to Surrey TV. I'm Hayley Evans. And I'm Ben Wells. And today we are in Godalming at Winkworth Arboretum. Can you believe the weather here at the end of October? It's glorious. It's absolutely beautiful. Autumn is my favourite time of year and you can see why. Lots of beautiful colours on the trees. Let's have a look. Surrey branch of the Institute of Directors has appointed a new chairman, Robert May. Robert is the managing director of Godalming based IT company Ramsack. His company is one of Microsoft's top 10 partners in the southeast and are known for making IT simple for their clients. Speaking about his appointment, Robert said, I'm delighted to chair IOD Surrey. We're a thriving local branch and one of the UK's leading business membership organisations. And as of the largest of all Southern branches, our membership encompasses directors from all business sizes and sectors. There are nearly 3,000 members of the IOD Surrey branch and it is a business group that will grow and grow under Robert's leadership with a team of local businesses, individuals and IOD staff. More details about this growing group can be found at iodsurrey.co.uk. Surrey County Council Deputy Leader Peter Martin marked a key milestone in the Superfast Surrey campaign last week. In conjunction with BT, the partnership has launched a 500th broadband connection box. The milestone box is located in Oxted and will serve thousands of homes and businesses in the surrounding area. This now means that 75,000 homes and businesses have access to super fast broadband services in Surrey. The importance of this milestone is that it will boost the Surrey economy by at least £30 million a year and ensure that everyone in the county can get online and use the internet at greater speed. Deputy Leader Peter Martin said, reaching these milestones means that thousands more Surrey businesses and residents can enjoy the benefits of this high speed technology in a way they would not have been able to otherwise. Coaster Capital and the local enterprise fund organisations that have made significant contributions to the economy in our region have appointed a new board member. Tony Letts OBE has been appointed to the board of Coaster Capital and brings with her a wealth of experience and expertise. Speaking on her appointment, Tony said, I joined the board during a very exciting time as we set about delivering our growth deal across the region. Coaster Capital focuses on areas where they can stimulate growth and add the most value, working with the private and public sectors. It is one of 39 partnerships established across the UK by government to determine regional economic priorities while making investments and delivering activities to drive growth and job creation. More information about the company and its activities can be found at coastercapital.org.uk. A brave group of staff, patients, families and friends of the Royal Surrey Hospital abseiled down the side of Guildford Cathedral last weekend. They all braved the climb and then the deceit in aid of detecting women's cancers. The money raised will be added to the fund to purchase a Thomas synthesis machine that is key to detecting 25% more breast cancers than standard mammograms. Now this helps avoid some of the more extreme treatments of the disease and is a vital addition to the already pioneering treatments that are in place at the Royal Surrey Hospital. The weather wasn't ideal, but all who took part came with smiles and determination to raise as much money as they could. And so far, the amount raised is in excess of £10,000. Please visit virginmoneygiving.com slash team slash detecting women's cancers to see how the fund is doing and to make a donation. Hayley, these woods are beautiful. The colour in the trees is amazing. They are absolutely stunning. And somewhere amongst this beauty, I've heard that there's a uh, new member of the Surrey TV team lurking. Ah, I think she's sitting over there. Should we go and say hello? Yes. <laughs> hi, hi. Hello, India. Hello, <laughs> oh, we're about to introduce you. India Pearson. Hi. Coming to join us here on Surrey TV. How are you, India? I'm really good. What a beautiful location. We're very lucky. The weather is it's sunny and shining. It's a beautiful day. It is, and I can't wait to get started on Surrey TV. Yeah, because you guys are going to go out and do some special features for us in, yes. in the area, aren't we are you? in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. Watch the space. 
But actually, I was thinking we could get started now, if you fancy. Why not? Should we go and do a story? Let's go do it. Let's go. This week's Weekend Stories are sponsored by our friends, the Vineyard Wine Merchants at 78 South Street, Dorking. Chessington World of Adventures are celebrating Halloween, or rather, Halloween, with a weekend of nighttime rides and haunted adventures. Whether you escape the clutches of Count Dracula in a forgotten Transylvanian village, brave an ancient Egyptian curse in an abandoned mansion, or enter a mystery Hocus Pocus Hall and encounter some of their spooky residents, Chessington are guaranteeing plenty of family fun at Halloween 2014. There'll be walkthroughs, shows and spooky trick-or-treating aplenty this weekend. Visit Chessington.com for more details and times for the spooky spectacle that will be Halloween. Halloween! <laughs> Birdworld near Farnham have a new and improved Halloween grotto that will be open for giggles and ghostly goings on until Sunday the 2nd of November. They have some fabulous new frights for the little ones and more ghosts, ghouls, pumpkins, spiders, vampires and any thrilled youngster could ask for. The themed experience is aimed at visitors of all ages but not too scary for the tiny ones. For more information and to get access to the special two for the price of one deal, visit birdwell.co.uk and click on the Halloween Activator Week poster. Something for the grown-ups at the Boiler Room in Guildford. Kickback comedy returns this weekend. Now this Saturday's lineup includes Rhea Lena, Quincy and Sol Bernstein. Deborah Jane Appleby will be on MC duties again. Kickback repeatedly brings West End comedy acts to Guildford and that mantra is set to continue with even more acts coming to the boiler room to place Surrey audiences. There are some tickets available still for Saturday but book now to avoid disappointment. The show sells out every time. Kickbackcomedy.com is the website to visit to book your place at this great night out. And it is a great night out. I went two weeks ago. Fantastic fun. Make sure you get your tickets. I'm here with Mike Smith from the Arboretum. Now Mike, we have had such an amazing time here today. I've never been here before and you must love your job at this time of year. I love my job at any time at of year. At any time year. of year, <laughs> but especially now it's oh, beautiful. Oh yes, and you picked a perfect day. It's a glorious, perfect autumn day. And can you tell us a bit more about what we can expect to find here at the Arboretum in the next few months? Well, of course, at the moment, we're just uh, experiencing fabulous autumn colours. And uh, coming up, we have uh, guided walks on the first Wednesday of every month and uh, we have events throughout the year and we've still got our wreath making in December. You can check out all our events either on Facebook or on our website. Brilliant, well I will definitely be doing that. I've loved it here today and I want to come back and see what more the Arboretum has to offer and you must do that too. Honestly, it has been amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Hayley, do you remember that uh, Emma Stevens story we had last week? Yep. The 12-hour busker thon. Yep. Emma did so well. Do you know how much money she ended up raising? No, tell me. 1,500 pounds. Wow, and uh, is she still making money? Can we still donate? Yeah, absolutely. You can still donate for children in need at justgiving.com forward slash Emma Stevens Music. And we're hoping Emma Stevens will be coming to join us on Surrey TV soon so we can congratulate her personally. Brilliant. A rather special announcement from the Guildford Shakespeare Company for January and February 2015. The quintessential Shakespearean actor Brian Blessed will be joining the Surrey Company for their performances of King Lear. Even more special is that this will be a first for Mr Blessed and he will be acting with his daughter Rosalind. The box office for King Lear will open for telephone and internet booking on Tuesday the 11th of November. Visit guildford-shakespeare-company.co.uk for more details and to book your tickets for this truly unique run of performances but we will be sure to bring you more details as they are released. With Brian Blessed! Stick to the day job Ben. <laughs> 
what a stunning day we've had here at the Winkworth Arboretum. You really need to make sure you get down here before winter sets in and all the leaves fall off the trees. It's been a wonderful day, so thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Have fun and enjoy the county. Coast to coast capital and the local, and sorry, coast to capital. What a wonderful day we've had here at the Winkworth Arboretum. It's been absolutely beautiful. You have to get down here before the leaves fall off the sheep. <laughs> I think it's justgiving.com forward slash Emma Stevens music. Yeah. What did the fuck say? <laughs> Brian Blessed will be joining the Surrey Company for <laughs> you right there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um.